Well, yes, exactly. And that's why I said that if she wanted a little bit of privacy, she could have just asked. Are you finished? Because we are almost back to the village. And, well, I'll be damned, we really are. Something doesn't feel right. You're right. You are right. Something is off. And the local wildlife doesn't seem to be acting the way it normally does. Oh, I'm one step ahead of you. Let's get this going. She is our shaman, and she's able to see things that others cannot. Yeah, and hear things too, by the way. Keep it down. It means that she is able to identify what is different. There's probably nothing to worry about. But there's no harm in making sure. Yes, I would rather spend a few minutes letting her do her thing than walk into a trap. I don't know. No, that doesn't make sense. If I did that, there would be more wildlife, not less. No, I don't think they're out raiding. And I don't think anyone would have come raiding us. Oh, we might be one of the only tribes that don't eat people, but that does not mean we are not able to fight. We're the strongest tribe around. There's no way anyone else could have challenged our strength, but the sounds of battle would have driven away all the wildlife. You know, I can still hear you over here, but I'm done, so... Next time, please keep it quiet. I would have been done sooner. What did you see? Hopefully nothing bad. So that would depend on your definition of bad. And knowing you, I'm going to say it's not bad. And... It's not bad. Is that not enough? We keep walking, and we will be fine. And that's all you're going to say. No more information? No, you don't need any more. It's fine. It's safe. We can go. He'll be fine, too. I don't exactly want you falling into pieces, right? I don't like sharing broken things. It's in my best interest to keep you in one piece. But we're on the same page there, at least. Fine, if you say it's safe. It probably is. What do you mean it probably is? Have I ever lied to you? Yes, that was our entire childhood. Okay, but I mean recently. Have I lied to you recently? The fact that you had to spend this long thinking means I haven't. Or it means I just haven't caught you yet. Okay, well, as far as I'm concerned, that's the same thing. I haven't. If it'll make you feel better, I'll walk in front. I don't mind. I told you it's safe. You know, that would help me feel better. Well, you really don't trust me, do you? Well, can you blame me? Oh no, not at all. You're right not to trust me. But I'm walking in front. And I won't walk myself into a trap. So, I hope you can at least trust that. Yes, I hear it too. I... Hope it means what I think it means. Can you just tell me what it is? Fine, I might as well. It looks like Guard has finally passed his trial. You don't look like you believe me. Why is that, hmm? You know I don't trust you. There's no way. There's no way he could have done that. I've been around him a lot more than you have. I know what he's capable of. Okay, well, I'm telling you what I saw. And what I saw was a celebration for Garg, a coming-of-age ceremony. A little overdue, but it looks like he finally got it. 
that shouldn't mean anything for you. Well, I don't know about that. If that's true. Then... Well, it's a good thing we have you along. I'm glad to have you here, sister. Because I think he would be foolish enough to try something today if it was just you and me. Yeah, I'm telling you what I saw. And... My opinion, even though I'm not the one who's been around Garg as much as you have, trust me, I have been keeping an eye on that bastard. I don't think he has the courage to do anything like that. At all. I think this is the perfect opportunity we've been waiting for. I don't follow. I think about it. If he has now reached the coming of age ceremony, if he has finished his trial, if he's accepted as a full member of the tribe, he's no longer covered under the protection of being the chieftain's son. Oh, now I see. Oh no, that is good news for us. Without that protection, he will not dare lay a hand on you. Oh no. No, I told you before, he had failed his trial. That's a very bad look. And he's corrected that now, it seems. And without his immunity, if he tries anything, anything at all, I won't just have to stop him from hurting you this time. I can fight back. Oh, not just you, he's not laying one hand on this guy. Not one. I still have a lot of things I want to learn about you. So, between the two of us, no one's going to touch you. Or at least they're going to regret trying. Oh, he probably still will try something. In fact, I expect he will. But... All it's going to take is shutting him down just one time, and he will back off. And then... Well, look who came back. <laughs> Even brought back your little human. You really are a disgrace to orcs carrying around that infant with you. Actually, no. You're less than an infant. At least infants can grow and be useful. I'm sorry, who are you to be talking about useful? Gark. Aren't you the one who failed their trial? Four times. Watch your tongue, or the chief will hear about your insubordination. Insubor- You think you are the superior to the shaman of the tribe? You really think that? I know, and you will respect my authority. I am next in line to be chief, and when I am chief, you will not even be welcome to live on the outskirts of the village. I will banish you. Both of you. Why the hell do you still have this human around? We are an orc tribe. Anything that is not an orc does not belong here. Well, up until a moment ago, Gark, you did not count as an orc either. At least not to the tribe. <laughs> I want your human. Your prize. Give him to me. Now. No, I won't. And if you try to take him, I will stop you. If you lay one hand on me, you will regret it. Give me the human. Yeah, we're not doing that. You can't have him. No, he's ours, and you're not getting him. Ours? You also want this human? <laughs> I thought a shaman would know better. It's just more proof in how far this tribe has fallen. And it's why we need a strong leader like me to fix everything the weaklings like you have brought on our tribe. You take one more step. And I will defend my prize. You would defy your future chief. 
Does your insubordination never stop? I want him, and I'm taking him, and that's all there is. <clears throat> Have you lost your mind? Hitting your new chief to defend a human. Everyone has wanted to hit you, Gark. For as long as I can remember. You will regret this. Both of you will regret this. Both of us? I didn't do anything. Why are you going to put me... Both of you! Holy shit, you hit him? I can't believe you hit him. I wanted to hit him. Why wouldn't... You took that away from me. You knew I wanted to hit him. Okay, are we going to talk about that? Because I really, really wanted to do that. And now... I have all this energy to punch someone, and no one to punch, and it's your fault. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll get over it. We definitely need to get you inside the tent. Oh, nice tent you have here, sis. Am I going to have to wait outside this one, too? I don't want to be outside again. No. No, there's plenty of room for all of us. Well, if you're not going to say anything, I am. I'm proud of you. I did give you shit for taking the punch that I wanted to throw. But good on you. You've been living around that bastard for so much longer than I have. And you still held back until now. That was quite a good punch. You feel better. Yes. Yes, I do. And also, quite a bit tired. You might want to get some rest then, because if that was Gark's ceremony, we don't have a whole lot of time to do your whole plan of acceptance in the tribe before he takes the mantle of chief. And if that happens, he can shut down everything you're trying to do. Oh, you're right. It looks like we have quite a long day tomorrow, and I... Sis, can you grab us? Um... Would you be so kind as to make us a little bit of tea to help us rest? Of course I will. And, um... And just, um... For future record... He doesn't like caffeine. Who doesn't like caffeine, really? You don't like caffeine? Is this a human thing? A you thing? You brought all that with you. Of course I did. I wasn't leaving my supplies behind. Perfect. Okay. So this tea? This is the one you had that helped you fall asleep. I'm gonna go ahead to the kitchen and get this ready. And I'll be back as soon as I can. You two, um, have fun while I'm gone. Are you alright? Hmm. He was definitely more bold than I expected. But I think he's learned his lesson. She is right, though. We have to get everything ready as soon as possible, or he will have the authority to stop you. Yes, it was green tea. Surely you humans have that. Coffee? Hmm. Not familiar with coffee. But if it also has caffeine, then yes. It... Well, I don't know how all that works. It's something like a tug of war within your mind. One keeping you awake, one making you sleep. And so imagine how quickly you fall asleep this time. With no caffeine. Was... Oh, you're so... So cute when you sleep. Good night, little one. And rest well, because tomorrow is 
going to be a rough day. Hello everyone, Star here, and thank you for listening. I want to give an extra big, extra special thank you to my co-star, co-VA, I don't know, collaborator, co-conspirator, whatever you want to call it, Wolf Zero. Wolf is an amazing VA, he's got an incredible voice, and I'm really glad he said yes when I um, shot him a message and asked if he'd be willing to read some lines. So originally, I would uh, recorded an outro for this when I was recording it, like I usually do, but, you know, this whole series has been improv, so for this video, I did not go into it planning to have any lines for Dark, so... I did not reach out until after it already recorded, and since I didn't know who was going to do the lines, I didn't thank anybody in the outro, and, well, I don't want to publish an outro without giving credit where credit's due, so that is this. I feel like I'm getting a handle on things. I've got YouTube worked out. I've got Patreon running. I do still have Instagram that I'm not yet using and plan to and just kind of keep getting distracted by recording more stuff because I sat down and recorded two things last night and two things today and probably more tomorrow. I, I am becoming Cena. That's what's happening. There was a comment that was basically asking, please let Gark get punched. So yeah, he got fucking punched in the face. Cool. Um, going to escalate from here. I have to figure out exactly what that's going to mean and what that's going to look like and everything because you can't exactly punch someone who's about to be leader and it's just not an issue so I don't know we'll figure that part out. This whole series has just been improv from start to finish. It's been a blast. I'm talking like it's over now. It's not over. I don't know if I'll continue after part We'll see. If the audience loves it, we'll keep going. I will start making season one, season two. Fucking, why not? You know? But I'm at least going to conclude this part of the story, I think, in episode 10. So I have to figure out that. Um, and if this video is any indication, that one's going to end up being a little bit on the longer side, too, because I just kind of keep talking. And, I don't know, it's my job, it's why well, there's three and 3.6 thousand people listening to me, because I talk. Uh, that will be it for me for now. So, I will see you all next time. Bye!